Okay, sorry, I guess it would be two parts. Um, I really wasn't even going to do this. I just I don't have a veil or anything. Uh, let's see, the flies are still hanging out. I just don't understand that. Got me confused, I guess, why they'd be there like that. I mean, I know they're after something sweet. Beehive. But I was talking about how weak this hive is. I'm not going to go deep, I'm telling you. But uh, I put all kinds of stuff on it just to uh, try to give it a little boost here, to give it a little help. It was, uh, the, like I said, the weakest hive here. It only had um, just barely, well, I think there's four frames in here. And it had... Uh, um, uh, barely one frame. I mean, it was on two frames, but they were kind of in between the two frames. <coughs> I don't have a smoker, so I lit a cigarette. And, uh, I give a, yeah, just a quick peek here. Got plenty of sugar on. I did give them just a touch of pollen. Um, that's a little bit of fondant in there that I made, and then some hard, what's left of the hard sugar, I guess, there. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just put this uh, piece of Tyvek wrap, kind of draped it over them, left the air gap kind of around them, you know. I took a piece of extra foam I had and just kind of leaned it up against them. Well, that pissed one of them off there. I hear him. But, uh, then I had a couple of scrap pieces of foam. I just threw it down there on top, just kind of help. Hoping it would help hold some heat in, you know. And, uh, just had a couple of cloths that I threw up on it, you know, old t-shirts. And uh, I'm not used to doing this one-handed, so I apologize. But uh, I, know I watch a lot of the Russian beekeepers, and they put, you know, they put cloths and stuff on their their hives and they seem to have good success and I thought well what the hell and uh, when, when I I done it and then uh, like I said this is the only one that survived uh, I did put a, a shim on top of it here you know it's got an upper entrance so they got an upper entrance up here but uh, everything else died I mean uh, I was down to just two hives, and then uh, <coughs> lost the last one, um, last cold snap we had a few weeks back. I mean, that gives me calm for my swarm traps, but you know, I'd rather have the beehive, so... done this with both hands. I don't know if I can do it one hand. This has to be the heaviest top I ever built. This thing is all three quarter everything. And then I a uh, piece of insulated panel, uh, just the metal off of it I put on top of it. Uh, excuse the camera work. Uh, try to set this top back on. Okay, girls, get out of here in just a second. All right, sorry about that. And uh, I insulated the top, like I said, with just a piece of uh, just a little panel I had. And 
I didn't think it'd make it, but it did, so. And they seem, I know they're, uh, they're a little stronger than they were, so, uh, you know, I just hope they, they make it through. I just don't know about these damn flies. So if anybody has anything, you know, any knowledge about the flies, I'd appreciate it. Because uh, I sure hate to have every box empty. I mean, all those are empty. Um, I'd like to get them filled back up. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's sad when you lose your bees. Um, I'm definitely not ever going to be treatment free again. Um, I think the only reason that those girls are making it is because... Uh, I did use oxalic on them. I give them a round of oxalic, and um, I think that's all that uh, that saved them. And I, I, I mean, I pumped, I pumped it to them. So and I'm getting ready to do it again here because it's been several weeks since I've done it. So I'm going to hit them again. And uh, so, if anybody has anything, you know, knows anything about the flies, I'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching.